According to the latest exit polls, former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is on course for victory in the elections. Around 85% of the votes have been counted and the right-wing bloc is projected to win by a slim majority. Exit polls further suggest that Netanyahu's right-wing bloc will command 65 of the Knesset's 120 seats. And according to polls, Netanyahu's Likud party stands to be the biggest party with 30 to 31 seats. However, a final result is not expected until later this week. We still have to wait for final results. But one thing is already clear. Our way, the way of Likud, proved itself. I remind you that after getting 52 seats last election, we are on the brink of a very big win. Should final results match those of exit polls, I will establish a national government that will take care of all of Israel's citizens. Without an exception, all of them. According to projections, extreme right leader Itamar bin Gavir will be key in helping Netanyahu return to power, with his religious Zionism bloc on track for an estimated 14 seats. Meanwhile, Israel's Prime Minister Yair Lapid stopped short of conceding Tuesday's elections and said that he will wait until final results were announced. <laughs> We have no intention to stop. We have no intention to cease. Every Israeli citizen, religious or secular, leftist or rightist, Jewish or Arab, straight or LGBT, should know tonight that we will continue to fight for Israel to be a Jewish and democratic, liberal and progressive state. Meanwhile, Palestinians have expressed disappointment in the Israeli election as the exit polls showed Netanyahu will be well placed to return to power. As a Palestinian, this does not mean anything to me. We tried Netanyahu's policy before as well as Yair Lapid. Both are competing in conducting crimes against Palestinians. Their election campaigns are always launched at the expense of the Palestinian blood. They do not benefit us. On the contrary, they hurt us. Our Palestinian blood is a measure of their success. Right, let's now go across to our correspondent Jody Cohen, who's live with us at this hour from Renana, Israel. Uh, Jody, thanks for joining us yet again. We've been tracking all the polling as well as the voting, which is being counted as we speak. Uh, now, Netanyahu seems to be set for a dramatic comeback. Give us a sense of what's happening in Israel. How are people responding to his supposed victory? So um, it's a mixed response, you know, Likud supporters, and there are many of them, he won more seats, more votes than anybody else in the election. They are delighted, they're delighted to have a right wing, um, what looks like it's going to be a right wing coalition back in government. And then of course, Lapid supporters are very disappointed. They were hoping to be able to at least get to a deadlock situation where Lapid would have carried on as interim prime minister and then potentially they were looking at, you know, maybe Likud would have changed their leader. But that doesn't appear to have happened. Likud have won the most votes. They do look like that they are able to form a coalition government with them expected to reach up to 65 seats, which is a comfortable majority, right. 61 being the magic number needed. Um, yeah, Ilipid doesn't look like he is set to form a coalition. There are still about 500,000 votes to still to be counted and in a significant move Yair Lapid has announced that he won't be attending the COP27 conference after his likely loss. Um, that's an indication of where things are likely to be headed and President Herzog will be representing Israel instead. He's likely to be giving Netanyahu the first chance to form a coalition which is likely to be made up of ultra-nationalists and ultra-Orthodox parties alongside Likud. There's a chance he might want to bring in the centre-right party, perhaps to moderate the influence of the religious Zionist party. And it's important also to remember at the Likud event last night, Netanyahu promised to form a national government that will return, as he said, pride, strength and security to the country. And, and he also vowed to right. heal the rifts in society. Jody, thanks so much for joining us yet again and thanks for all those updates. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.